Cloud Cuckoo Land, Cred Street, the land of make-believe, and Talbot Street. This area has had many names since opening in 1981, but it's always been synonymous with one thing, being a bit of a graveyard for rides. So as you enter the area, you have the Sky Ride right on there. This is one of the end stations. It was destroyed by a fire in 2009 and rebuilt for 2010. Another thing that it has is a burger kitchen, which obviously at one point in time was a Burger King. Now, as you came in many years ago, you'd be greeted by a bright, colorful building that was around the world in 80 days. Toyland Tours or Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. But now that bright, colorful building is fading away and the land behind it rotting behind a fence. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory closed after 2015 and we had no update as to what will happen to the ride since. In recent years, however, we had this sign coming to point you towards the remaining few rides within Cloud Cuckoo Land. Like I said before, this area has a reputation for being a bit of a graveyard of a ride. They're either sent here to die or they're sent here because they want to wind down the area. Bouncing Bugs is one, the original carousel, uh, the vintage cars, so many different things. Even Wobble World. Wobble World was closed in 2015 like Charlie and Chocolate Factory and is now permanently closed so they don't have to remove all the House of Monsters stuff. But unfortunately, the fence doesn't just stop at Charlie, it continues right into the centre of the area. Twirling Toadstool used to be here, it was the Uggswigger. It's been down under Tower's Loving Care for two years and supposedly they're hoping to have it reopened for 2019. Who knows? There is lots and lots and lots of rumours that uh, Cloud Cuckoo Land is going to be rethemed for 2019. We can only hope. There are three rides left in the area. The Frog Hopper, the Gallopers Carousel and the Cuckoo Cars Driving School. Now the Frog Hopper actually was inserted midway through the 1999 season and didn't always operate here where you see it now, in front of the closed Cloud Cuckoo Land Theatre. And that's had many shows over its time but unfortunately has not for quite a few years now, having lost Ice Age 4D to Drayton Manor. Now I'm walking alongside the Ca Gallopers Carousel, which is a bright, colourful carousel just behind me. And here we come to the original site of the Frog Hopper, and it's sat in front of an old attraction called Nickelodeon Out of Control. Clark Cuckoo Land has a light, light, airy theme, and that's what it's designed to be. And all the buildings are bright and colourful, there's trees everywhere and cuckoo cars driving school. This was down under TLC, I think it was 2016, and reopened last year, 2017. It opened midway through 2006 as the Peugeot 207 driving school with a Peugeot sponsorship. However, there isn't actually just one way into Clad Cuckoo Land, there's two. And we're about to head over it now. So under all these buildings and next to cuckoo cars is this lovely little bridge over the ride. Now it's providing some fantastic views of the area but it also serves as you can see with all the lovely bits of theming down here and to the side but it serves as the second entrance and exit to, to the area bringing you back into the towers complex. What will become of Cloud Cuckoo Land for 2019? Nobody knows but hopefully It'll get some more love and be as bright and colourful as we all want it to be.